Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.7.7 and Razbam Sims AV8B Harrier Module. Welcome to another bonus episode. Today I'm going to show you how to create ATHS data link points using mark points on your F10 map. So let's get started. Uh, I have a, a waypoint quite close to Insirlik Airfield over here and I'm going to create some targets. So I can do this by clicking the circle mark label uh, button up here at the top of the F10 map and I'm going to place one in the rough area that I'm going to be using for targets because you need one initial mark point uh, which is not a target for the system to operate. So I'm just going to call it T00 because uh, it's not an actual target and then I can click the circle up here again to place some more. So I'm going to place a target off the end of the runway here and I'm going to label it T01. The labeling is important, uh, they need to be in this format, capital T and two numbers. Uh, usually you're going to run them like you know, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 and so on. So I'll have one there and I'm going to place another down here and this will be T02 and one over here T03 and the last one just for demonstration purposes over here T04 perfect okay these mark points are all placed I'm going to return to the cockpit of the aircraft and I'm going to bring up my knee board now if I flip one page to here you've got the target list and it currently says no targets loaded however it says press right shift right alt and eight uh, for loading into aircraft so I'm going to do that now right shift right alt number eight and tada look what we've got we have we actually have five uh, target waypoints uh, I wonder why that's happened but anyway we'll figure that out in a moment so they're showing up in the knee board now and as soon as they're in the knee board they will actually be in the data link so I'm going to take my right multifunction display here and I'm going to display uh, where is the CAS page here we go click CAS and then press recall and you will see here the the waypoints that it's loaded now one of these is very very far away from all the others so I'm assuming that this one that's called T4 is Erinus somehow I don't know how that's ended up there almost certainly it's my mission file my mission file must have a mark on the ground and it's uh, it, it's thought that that's one of the targets so I think we're going to use one two three and five in this case because they all seem to be roughly close to each other. Now I can inspect these and see where they are by going over here to my ETHS uh, because each one of these was already turned into a target point. So I can press data uh, and actually probably the best thing to do is to simply cycle to waypoint 4 because they were all going to be in the vicinity of waypoint 4. Um, now usually you're going to get little triangles but uh, maybe I have to be in air to ground mode for that. Nope, even in air-to-ground mode, it doesn't display the triangles. What we'll do is we'll cycle all the way through until we get to the target points. Okay, let's cycle this down, really small. Target point one is off the northeastern end of the runway. That's correct. Oh. oh, I see what it's done. Okay, so target point one, T00, has actually identified it as a target point. It will have done that because my mission already had... Uh, mark points on it. So that's fine. So T2 is actually my first one. T3 is off the southwestern end of the runway. T4, northwest. And T5, southeast. Uh, these could now be used for JDAMs or any other kind of weapon, uh, or they can be just used uh, as target points for queuing your sensors. I hope you all found that useful. That's another quick bonus in the AV8B Harrier. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you next time.